Have you ever felt stuck before? Like you knew what you needed to do, but you just haven't followed through? Maybe you felt disappointed with yourself or maybe a little frustrated because you know you need to follow through and complete X, Y, Z, you just don't? I know how you feel. I felt the same way, but what I found is over the years coaching six, seven, and eight figure entrepreneurs and finding them stuck, I found a way to help them move forward, to follow through, and to become unstuck. And today I want to share that with you. My name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design, and today's video is three simple steps to get unstuck and to follow through. See, the first step in any change of when it comes to getting unstuck, the following through, is you have to have clarity. If you don't have clarity, you'll never succeed. See, the entrepreneurs that I coach, the reason why they're able to accelerate their results is they have massive clarity. If you don't have clarity on what you're doing or where you're going, it's hard to hit that target, right? If we both jumped on a plane and I said, hey, meet me in Texas, you might sit there and be like, great, but where? Where in Texas? And I said, no, 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 just meet me there. Would you get on the plane? be like no way I'm not gonna just fly to Texas and not meet you that's just a waste of time but if I told you hey let's meet in Austin you might say okay that's better but wait Austin's huge where in Austin and if I told you a specific restaurant or I told you at a certain intersection like on 6th Street you would know exactly where to meet me and it would be so much easier for you to achieve the goal you would go a lot faster most people they don't move quickly because they're so unclear So for example, I had a client came to me, he was struggling in production in the financial space. He was a financial advisor. And what we started to look at is how many times does he need to pick up the phone on a daily basis, a weekly basis, and a monthly basis in order for him on an average transaction to close out a certain amount of deals per month and achieve the amount of income he wanted. And so as we started working together, he didn't have that, we helped him get that, and as soon as he did, guess what, the next two months, he was following through on those goals, he was hitting his financial targets, and he was off to his best start of the year ever. So clarity is power. If you can know exactly where you're going, what you need to do, all of a sudden it becomes so much easier and you just, you get there a lot quicker. Once you get clear on what the target is, what the bullseye is, what your goal is that you're going after, that's not enough, okay? Because how many of you, you know, maybe you should release a little bit of weight, right? Or maybe you need to pick up the phones and call a little bit, or maybe you need to up your marketing, but you don't. What's preventing you, even though you have maximum clarity, what's preventing you from moving forward? The second component or the second step for you to get unstuck and to follow through is you have to have leverage. If you don't have leverage, you're not gonna succeed. Now I've coached tens of thousands of people around the world and what I'll say is most people who stay where they are and they don't move forward is because they have no leverage. There's no reason to move forward. The ones that are feeling stuck and the ones that catapult out of feeling stuck and get into action, not only do they have clarity, but they have leverage. So what is leverage? Leverage is when you have immediate pain to you not following through and massive pleasure to you following through. So for example, when I wake up at 4.20 in the morning and I go to the gym and it might be 20 degrees out, it's freezing cold and I'm in my nice warm bed, I don't necessarily feel like getting up out of bed, right? I'm like, man, all the stories go through my head. I'm so warm, this is great, I'm tired. Like, I don't wanna do this. But if I try to combat that, I'm gonna lose every time. It wasn't until I slowed down and figured out what's my leverage. And my leverage, what I ultimately found and came up with that kind of moves me into massive pain is, I don't want my boys to look at another man and say, he's the example I want to be like. I want to be my kid's example. I want them to look up to their daddy, right? And so for me, if I don't get up out of bed, I'm not going to be their example. They're going to look at someone else and that's not what I want, right? And so that's the immediate pain to get me up out of bed when it's so early and I'm so warm and comfortable. And then the massive pleasure is I'm going to feel great. I'm going to look great. My boys are going to be like, I want to be like my dad and not like the superhero or someone else. Like that is my leverage. If someone was to come wake me up and say, hey, it's time to get up. And I'm like, oh, I'm so tired. I don't want to, right? How many of you have been there before? I know I have, right? And they're like, hey, 
do you want your boys to be looking at someone else as the example or you? I'm like, blankets come off. I'm rubbing the, you know, the sleepies out of my eye and like, let's go, let's get after it, right? And so you gotta find out what's your leverage. Most people don't take the time to slow down and get clear. But if you do, I'm telling you, you find that, that situation or that moment or that person that like it stabs you in the heart to move forward, right? And to get, say, not another second, not another minute, am I gonna tolerate this, let's go. Then you found your leverage. When you have that, all of a sudden the game changes. And I have to do this with clients a lot of the times because they come and they're like, all right, I'm like, how did you do with your action steps? And they're like, oh, I didn't really follow through. I felt a little stuck. And I'm like, well, what happened? And they're like, eh, and they give me some excuse, right? And I know at that moment, it's time for me to go into attack mode. I need to get leverage on them so that they don't waste another week of their life and compounding their results, right? And so I gotta go into attack mode. And I'm not nasty, but I find out what's their immediate pain for them to change than to stay where they are. I kind of think of it like as if a house was burning down, right? Like, and you love the person that was asleep in his burning house. You wouldn't knock on the door and be like, well, they're not coming, I'll let them go. No, you kick the door down, you run upstairs, you grab them. And if they fought you because they were, you know, one of those people who fight you when you sleep, right? You're going to just do whatever it takes to save them. You're not going to be like, all right, jerk, and leave them there and, and then let them burn to death. Like, that's not, that's not it. You got to like knock them out and bring them out, right? Save their life. And so that's the way I look at it when I'm getting leverage on someone. And so sometimes I got to do it to the point where they get mad at me or they get pissed. And I'm like, ah, once we got it, and they're like, okay, they never come back to the call with that situation say, I haven't followed through. All right, the third and final step is you have to have a clear, simple game plan. Most people, they are not clear on their game plan. Right? They, they just leave their success up to chance. It would shock you how many entrepreneurs come to coaching and they don't know or have a plan. And I'm like, really? You want to be able to make X, Y, Z? You want to accomplish this? You want to build this legacy? But you don't even have a plan to get there? They're like, no, I just figured I'd start doing this. I'd start marketing. And it's like, okay, that's great. But you can't just shoot blindly. You're not going to, most of the time, you're not going to succeed. And if you do succeed by luck, guess what? You're not able to duplicate that or share with someone or your family member or maybe your kids, the next generation, on how you accomplish it. So we want to make sure that you have a clear plan on what you need to do. And it's got to be detailed, right? It's got to be detailed. And you don't just say eat healthier, right? No, you got to get clear on what that is. You want to be so detailed on your plan. You want to be more detailed than the guy down the street trying to rob the bank. Like I should be able to look on your wall and say, wow, you have, you are so clear on accomplishing this goal. And then what I like to ask clients is once they get that clear detailed plan, I ask them, if you hit everything on this, would you accomplish your goal? Would you hit the target? And if the answer is yes, awesome. If the answer is no, we might need to add some things. And just know as time goes on, you're going to, you know, when you're going towards your goals or whatever it is that you're working on, things are going to show up. Doors are going to start to open. But in that initial step, you got to be really clear. And then once you're clear, put them in priority order. One through 10, one through 30, one through 50, whatever it is for you, you gotta put it in order because you gotta know which one am I attacking first? Because otherwise what I've found with so many people, the pattern is they think I gotta do all this. I gotta do everything all at once. That's just a lie. You don't have to do everything at once. What you need to do is figure out what's the top priority, the number one, and go after that until it's complete and then move on to the next one. I can't tell you how many times I've personally done it in the past, clients have done it in the past, and have failed. So if you want to succeed, figure out what's the first step you need to take in that clear, detailed, simple plan and start executing on it. And I promise you, when you do that, you're going to feel a sense of accomplishment. You're going to feel like you're going to that next level. So the best way for you to get unstuck is to follow these three simple steps. I promise you, when you find that leverage, there's no reason for you not to follow through anymore. And if you don't follow through, the reason you're not following through is the leverage wasn't painful enough and, more, and pleasurable enough. You haven't found the right leverage. You have to go back and get clear. And you can't be nice to yourself in this exercise. You have to really get after it. Right? Maybe it's, you know, when it comes to uh, taking your relationship to the next level, maybe it's you got to get after and think about what would it be like for your wife or husband to be with someone else? Imagine in detail what they would be doing. 
All right, and you're like, oh hell no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shower my wife with love. I'm gonna respect the hell out of my husband. I'm gonna praise him. You're gonna do whatever it takes, right? Once you have that leverage and it really like, you're like, oh, it turns you on. It's like a switch flips. And if you've ever experienced that before, you know what I'm talking about. But when you have that, there's no reason you wouldn't follow through anymore. All right, guys, if you found value in this video today, hit that thumbs up button, comment below, let me know, did you get clear? Did you find your leverage? I'd love to know what your leverage is because what's your leverage may help someone else find their leverage or to take that next step in the leverage. And then did you write out your detailed plan? I wanna know, comment below, but most importantly, hit that subscribe button. Why? Because we're gonna be putting out videos three times a week in the areas of relationships, business, finances, and even personal development to take yourself, your, your your business to that next level. We're about consciously creating your life or your business. That's why we call this Master Life by Design. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments. So with that, I'm Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. You have a great one. See you on the next video.